my name is Joshua. Yeah, some of you may recognize me at the games and all that. But let me tell you something. You know, all this nonsense, all the lies, all the hate. What's going on here? Oh, in this, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable. Really? You know, all this is a bunch of nonsense. All this is a bunch of baloney and stuff. It is. Because really, I want to say this. What is wrong with saying, welcome to UMass Nation? What is wrong with saying, how's your first two weeks back in New England? To a Massachusetts native. I don't really know what's going on here. Because really, all I'm doing is being nice. Because I want to show these people that all five UMass campuses is a friendly environment, not a hostile environment. Because I've come to notice that the that the UMass Amherst campus is starting to become the hostile environment, and there's no need for all that. And also with athletics, I understand some things, but there are things I don't understand is. Why you have this little problem with, you know, with people doing positive things like promoting like UMass sports and stuff. Some people create social media pages like with football at first because there was a football Twitter page before the football team went to Division One. Then that stopped for some reason and then become a new football page. And also, I understand about this whole logo stuff. I'm like, look, I get it. But there's no reason to, like, give that man a hard time for making those Minutemen foam hats and stuff. I don't think he was trying to take your money. I understand it. I understand you have to be tight with it. But really, there's no need to give that guy a hard time for that. And let me, let me remind you this. And I'm making this video, I am protected by my First Amendment, freedom of speech. And I'm telling you, there won't be any threats in this video. So, and please be advised, this is being viewed nationwide. Remember that. Now, back on this. There are some people at UMass, you know, who would do cruel things to other people. Like, like target people with disabilities. Include myself. The play I don't feel a comfortable thing because they don't like being around people with disabilities. I'm like, if you're gonna act like that because you don't like someone with disabilities or don't want to be around someone with disabilities, then you're the one that needs help because you can't seem to get over it. You can't seem to understand that people can't help the way they were born. I can't help the way I was born. Was I born with a birth defect disability? Yes, I was. But doesn't mean I have a disease and all that stuff. I don't have a disease. Y'all need to stop acting like that. And stop trying to make trouble for me for no reason. I'm getting tired of this nonsense. I am. And I'm speaking up right now. Because what do I do when I'm under attack? I stand up fight back. What I want, justice. And what I want it, now. And remember, the people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Let me tell you something. I have people that will rally around me after watching this video. Because really, folks came up and told me that, you know, the UMass athletic staff as well as the Mullen Center security seem to be more, seem to be more focused on me than other UMass fans, you know, yelling out racial slurs, dirty chants. You know, and obviously that F you Dayton chant. I'm like, yeah, and also, you know, athletic staff as well as Mullen Center Security making a big deal about a, about the Daniel Bryan no and yes chant. There's nothing dirty about those chants. Those are clean chants. And parents who bring their kids to the game, they said they'd rather hear that than all those other chants that are dirty, vulgar, cursing, all that. All that. Uh-uh. And see, like I said, you know, early in this video, there are people in the athletic department that hate and fear that do not understand. I'm not saying all of them do, but some do. 
That's not cool. And like I said, I can't help the way I was born. I know I have a disability. And I'm sorry if it's, it spooks you out. It makes you uncomfortable. But that's something I can't help. I try and all that. But you know, you got to learn to understand and accept those that are different. Because someday, you may have kids that, you know, born with a birth defect. It can happen to you as well. You know, like I said, people with autism as, as well as other disabilities, it will continue to go on the rise. And by the 2020s, there gonna be a lot more of those. I'm telling you, a lot more people with disabilities. I'm telling you, once they go up to the 2020s, that's it. There'll be a lot more people with disabilities. So, like I said, it's going to be on the rise. So, like I said, learn to understand and accept those that are different. And also, would it really do that? Do you harm to like take the time to understand people that are different? Does it really take that? Is it really that hard for you to do that? You have to understand, you know, people with autism and other disabilities are different. I know I say this over and over again, but you know, I'm gonna keep saying it until you get it. Because all UMass campuses, as well as all the other colleges across the nation, sorry about that, excuse me, is supposed to be friendly to everybody, even those that are different. And also, y'all gotta do something about the football games at, at McGurk Alumni Stadium. Because I'm very concerned about the fact that security people tell, uh uh, you can't take pictures, you know, right where you can stand back when the football team was in D1AA. You know, that, you know, that cement, that pavement right at the gate behind the football crowd. I mean, the football team, excuse me. Yeah. Now that UMass football is in Division One, you can't go and you can't stand up to the gate and take pictures anymore, because security is always telling people, ah, no, no, no. You know, and I don't like the fact that they go talk to people, like you know, let them know you can't stand it anymore because, you know, I don't want security like screaming at them and all that. I don't want that. I'm like, it's really that big of a problem. Like, why not put the f raise the fence up some? Why not? Maybe it costs money. True, but really, it can decrease the problem. And also, as far as taking pictures and videos, people do that to promote UMass Sports. And yes, I do the same as well, but just to let you know, all those pictures and videos I take, they're not being sold or nothing that. You know, I put it on a social media page. Yes. You know, just to show other legends and all that. Because UMass fans get together and promote UMass sports. And guess what? We're all doing it for free. So, yeah. I'm like, if there's going to be new rules, that's completely understood. But let me tell you about that new athletic staff I said in, the, in that video about spring football. Really? Like I said, I know you're watching this as well. I understand there's going to be new rules. I understand that. But you have no right to be... To yellow, hey, that's not being a good guy. Close the strike, not being a good guy. And you also have no right to be to say, walk away. I'll say it again. You have no right to say, walk away like that towards me or anybody else. And especially to people of color. Uh uh. Because let me tell you something. I know you're watching this video. And. Let me tell you something. Things are different in the South. I'll say it again. I'll be more clear. Things in New England, things in Massachusetts is a lot different than the South. Because in New England, in Massachusetts, you have no right to talk to anybody like that. Uh-uh. We take that very seriously. So, I got to say that because you was in the wrong for saying that. And I know you're watching this video. Oh, I know you are. So, 
I'm not saying it's be a jerk, but really, you had no right to say that. I understand his new rules, but let me tell you something. You were in the wrong for saying that. And also, I think it's time, you know, for some athletic staff to take some sensitivity training. I think it would be a good idea. Heck, I'll take sensitivity training because, you know, have I said anything to offend anybody? No, not that I know of, but I'll still take it because, you know, maybe I can learn something from it. Maybe I can learn some things from it. But really, these new athletic staff, these new UMass Amherst athletic staff, you know, they really need to learn the culture of UMass Amherst. Because they need to learn, they just can't come up there with an attitude, think they can talk to any talk to anybody they want like that. Uh-uh. No. They need, to re they need to remember and realize that, you know, they're not just, you know, school employees. They're state employees as well. I know where they came from is probably a private university, a private college. But you got to remember, there's a huge difference between a public university and college as well as like a private university and college. There's a huge difference between those two. <sighs> you know, and also, as far as security goes at the Mullen Center, I understand you got to be hot when there's celebrities like Victor Cruz, Marcus Camby, politicians like the governor and all that. I understand security has to be hot, but not too hot. Because I remember back when John Calipari was at the Mullen Center raising the banner. But then, really? At halftime, all I wanted to take a picture with Marcus Camby because he's been my idol since I was a little boy. And I hope he's watching this as well. And also, that security. Let's talk about that athletic staff who was standing in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> you obviously you know who he is. I'm not saying names. Remember, I'm not going to say names enough. But, like, really. All I want to do is take a picture of Marcus Camby. That's it. I'm like, what's the big harm in that? And also, I was actually generous, gracious, and nice enough to let the little kids get the pictures with Marcus Camby first. Because I don't want to make I don't want to make the kids wait. Because, you know, I'm an adult. So I think, I think the kids should go first. Then me afterwards. Yeah. And you know, in the security, he's just on his power trip. I'm like, what the heck? What is wrong with these people? I understand they're doing their job, but look, let me get a picture of Marcus Canby and I'll be out of your way. I didn't even jump the barriers or nothing like that. I don't understand why that UMass Athletic staff think he had to stand in front of me. Like I'm gonna like hurt somebody or something. And people, look, I may be a big, tall, African-American and strong, but it doesn't mean I'm going to hurt anybody. You know, in this meeting two years ago because of what? Another UMass athlete pretty much hate and fear what she didn't understand. Yeah, it's true, but they don't want to accept that. Because they will cover her up like Florida State did in a James Winston case. I don't want to talk about that, but I had to say it. They can't seem to accept that, but I know it's hard to accept, but it's true. Some people hate and fear what they don't understand. And as far as that blog, Turtle Boy Sports, goes, I didn't tell him to write that. Turtle Boy Sports took him upon himself to wrote, write that article, write that blog. And as much as you don't want to take credit, that's fine, but it's still... Expose how UMass Athletics handled the situation between that women's lacrosse player and I. Because it was not handled properly, and that player is the one who really wanted that started it. Not me. Because what? I sent good vibes to that player on social media. Nothing wrong with sending good little vibes. I don't know. And really, people need to get over it. And learn to understand, accept those that are different. Get over it. 
Okay, really, people with autism and other disabilities don't have a disease. They don't. It's just something they're born with, and it's something they have to live with, as well as their families. And look, and like I said, show some tolerance because someday you might have a child that's born with a birth defect. Someday it could happen to you. Who knows? And people with disabilities will continue to be on the rise, like I said earlier, in the 2020s. And guys, really, all the UMass campuses should be a friendly environment, not a hostile environment. And really, I want to say this. This nonsense with UMass Amherst Athletics, this stops now. Really, it stops now. I've been doing a lot for the athletic department, cheering for them and all that. Heck, I went as far as the nation's capital. Not once, but twice. I went to the Bronx with the teams. I went to Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, yes. And like I said, this nonsense has all got to stop. Really, it stops now. Because really, you know, I don't like posting bad things about athletics. I like posting good things. You know, and this one guy I know very well, he wants me to stop with the videos and go back to being Joshua Brown. But if you really want me to go back to being Joshua Brown, this not all this nonsense has got to stop. All this nonsense has got to stop, and it stops today. And that's why you, Mass Coach, I'm not saying what team, but really, I understand you haven't met me in person. I understand you want to play it better play it safe I honestly you want to be safe and sorry but really if I'm saying welcome to UMass Nation how's your first two weeks back in New England I'm like there's a better way to handle it without blocking me on Twitter because I was being nice to you and I know you're watching this as well I was being nice I don't know but then you know a few people say oh they feel uncomfortable around me and stuff like that to the UMass Athletics, Human Resource. Like, really? Let me tell you something. I can't help the way I was born. I'm sorry if it freaks you out. I'm sorry if it spooks you. But my disability is something I can't help with. I can't help. I can't control it. I'm sorry if it scared you. But seriously, people, grow up. Grow up. Everybody, grow up. You know, stop the nonsense, stop the lies, and stop the hate. I really don't like it when people tell lies about me. I really don't like it at all. So like I said, this is Joshua Brown. And remember, I am protected by the First Amendment of freedom of speech. No threats in this video. There wasn't any. Just remember that. And for those who rallied around me two years ago and today, I appreciate it. And like I said in the, early in this video, I can't help the way I was born. If you feel uncomfortably around me because, you know, because of my disability, then you're the one that needs help, not me. Thank you, everybody. And also, I want to thank to all the alums and supporters that reached out to me when I had that episode. So thanks, you know, but right now I'm attending, you know, at this time I went to therapy and then next week I'm going to go to group therapy as well. So thank you everybody who supported me. Thank you all and may peace be with all of you. And guys and everybody, please pray for the ones who claim that they're uncomfortable around me. Like I said, pray for the people who feels uncomfortable around me because really they need to learn to like, you know, understand accept others for what they are who and what they are and like captain planet said it's up to us to stamp out hatred the power is yours and let's also remember great legends like dr martin luther king jr rosa parks malcolm x 
those people gave their lives to put an end to nonsense like this. They have. And there's other people as well. So, like I said, stop the lies, stop the nonsense, stop the hate. This is Joshua Brown. Thank you for watching this video. It's a little bit dark, but hopefully you can hear me very well. Joshua Brown, thank you.